Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and today I want to help you with evaluating algebraic expressions. Recall that an algebraic expression contains one or more variables, which are the letters that you see in the problems. You can substitute a number for that variable and then find the value of the expression. This is called evaluating the expression. We're going to evaluate each expression for the given value of the variable. Here's your algebraic expression. X is your variable. But over here it tells you what the value of X is. So you rewrite this expression and where you see the variable X you replace it with 15. So it's 15 minus 5 and the answer to that is 10. Let's try it again. Here's our, our algebraic expression. Our variable is n, but in this case it gave you the value of the variable, so n equals 8. So I'm going to rewrite this expression, and where it has n, I'm going to put 8. Well, I can see that this is now an improper fraction, and all I have to do to solve it is t-bow it and the answer is 2. I want you to get a communicator and see if you can do this one on your own before I tell you the answer. Pause the, pause the video now. Okay, I see that my algebraic expression is here. Here's my variable. And I look over here and it tells me that where I see the variable y, I'm going to replace it with a number 3. So I have now rewritten that algebraic expression, and where y was, I have the 3. And now I use the order of operations to solve it. I solve multiplication before addition. 2 times 3 is 6, and then 6 plus 5, there's only one operation left, and the answer is 11. Again, go ahead and pause the video and see if you can do this by yourself. Here's my algebraic expression. I have 6 times the variable k. And over here it says k equals 1 third. First I rewrite the algebraic expression, but where k is I put in 1 third. And because now I've replaced it with a number, I need to go ahead and put the multiplication sign between these two numbers. Well, when I'm trying to multiply a whole number by a fraction, I need to rewrite the whole number as a number over 1 times that fraction, and then I just multiply first the numerators, and then I multiply the denominators. And that equals 6 over 3. That's improper. I t-bow it, and my answer is 2. Again, pause the video and see if you can do it by yourself, and then unpause it to find out the answer. My algebraic expression is here. The variable is s, and it's giving me the value of the variable. So I rewrite the algebraic expression, and where I see s, I replace it with 2. Because I went ahead and put the number 2 in for s, I need to put the operation that was going on between the 3 and the s, and that's multiplication. Now I use the order of operations, and I multiply first. 3 times 2 is 6. And now there's only one operation left, and the two of those equal 7. Again, I want you to pause the video and see if you can do this by yourself. Here's my algebraic expression, and my variable is n. And then over here I see that they gave me that the value of n is negative 2. So I rewrite the expression with negative 2 where n was. And because I replaced this n with a number, I need to put a multiplication sign between the two of them. And now I use my order of operations to solve it. The first thing I do is multiply. A positive times a negative is a negative. So 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. I bring the rest of the problem down. And now there's only one operation. I see that these signs are the same, so I add them, and I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. 
the answer to this problem is negative 12. Good job, guys. See you next time.